Hey everyone, this is Skill in Tech. How was your Christmas? Today, I'm going to share a really useful tip if you want to install potentially dangerous software without putting your computer at risk. The method I'm talking about is Windows Sandbox, and it lets you run software in an isolated environment without affecting your main system. Let me show you how it works. Before we get started, let me first introduce you to what Windows Sandbox is and how it differs from a virtual machine. Well, a virtual machine is like creating a completely separate Minecraft world in survival mode. You can build and explore, but setting it up takes time and resources. Plus, if you just want to quickly test something, it can feel like overkill. Windows Sandbox, on the other hand, is like switching to Minecraft's creative mode. You get a clean, temporary environment where you can test potentially dangerous software or open suspicious files. The best part? Every time you close Sandbox, the world resets entirely. Everything you've done is wiped away, just like starting fresh. Second, Sandbox is perfectly integrated with your main system. It's like entering a seed code in Minecraft's creative mode to instantly generate the environment you need. You don't have to manually build the world or worry about compatibility. It's all set up for you. Just click to launch it and you're ready to go. So if you want to quickly test software, open risky files, or experiment without fear, Windows Sandbox is the perfect choice. It's light, safe, and super easy to use. No complicated setup, no risk to your main system. It's like having a creative mode for your PC. So how do you actually use it? Simply open Windows Sandbox. The first time you launch it, it might take a little bit of time. But once it's up, just copy and paste the seed, also called a file, that you want to test inside. Like this. From there, you can run and test the software to see if it's safe all while keeping your main computer system completely untouched. But it's not just for testing potentially dangerous software. Windows Sandbox is also fantastic for debugging applications. You can try out different things in the Sandbox without worrying about messing up your main system. It's super convenient for developers who need a safe, efficient testing environment. If you can't find Windows Sandbox on your system, don't worry. Simply head to the Turn Windows Features on or off settings and make sure you check the box for Windows Sandbox. After that, you'll be all set to use it. If you want to optimize your computer's performance, I also recommend using iSomSoft Sys Refixer. This tool helps you clean up disk space, free up memory, and speed up boot times. It comes with both free and paid versions, and it's especially useful for cleaning up redundant files and making your system run faster. That's it for today's tips. By using Windows Sandbox and Isomsoft Sys Refixer, you can safely run potentially risky software and keep your system optimized. If you have any questions or want to see more tips, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.